apart from entertainment, I can only tell you Nigeria we have soared high in, in entertainment. Apart from that, uh, we have go, we've done nothing. Our economy is in shambles. Our security uh, system is in shambles. Our um, uh, government, they are not uh, up and doing. So Nigeria will have failed. We have failed woefully. So now only entertainment, music, Nigeria. Yeah, that is it. That they are the only ones flying our flag now as the uh, patriotic Nigerians because of their individual talents. It's not about our collective interest. But um, I want to tell you that... Uh, brother, we, we, we poverty, they told us to, to your own pro, uh, property. <laughs> they told us about independence. Nothing, uh, nothing comes. We don't see them. We know they're in Nigeria. Is that the people are crying and mourning. They are mourning because people used to die every day. They are also murmuring. There is starvation all over. Hungry is catching the masses. And when you see it, that people are devastated. Things are not going the way it ought to be. The common man cannot live any longer. So they die daily. Wish me as a comrade. I am against the world celebration because people are angry. There is hunger in the land. You know? Uh, yeah. People are very, very angry because of um, the policies of the government. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The economy is falling every day. So people are not happy. I don't blame them anyways. But for the fact that I'm a Nigerian and I'm alive today, I will still celebrate the independence. Nigeria has failed. You understand? At 63, if you are a government worker and an entrepreneur, at least at 63, uh, people, uh, you should be thinking of going to retirement. You should be thinking of going to retirement. But in the case of Nigeria, it's not so. Nigeria, we are still talking about to rebuild, how to set up institutions, how to build our educational system, how to equip our hospitals, how to build the road, how to have common electricity, how to have a clean uh, borehole waters in our houses. These are primary issues that at least at 63, we shall be able to overcome. In retrospect, has there been any improvement? Like... It did not work. It doesn't work celebrating. It does not work celebrating. Why I said so? I can't tell you. If you buy Peking, we pass 60 years, we know they produce anything. No, that one will not be Peking now. My father, don't, he don't reach how many years? More than 60 years. If you know they do well, I know what I don't do them now. So Nigeria never produce anything meaningful, no tangible. Yeah. Nigeria is a, like better failure. You are a product of Nigeria then. <laughs> My brother, no, you say you're a failure. Okay. I, I'm not a failure in Nigeria. Now, those people who are a failure because if they give me power, I will try my best. I will even change in Nigeria. I'm not going to even do to that, try my best. I will change in Nigeria. So what's the way forward now? What do you think? Uh, what, do you, what, are, what are your expectations? Like the president gave the speech yesterday that you know it's improving, increasing workers' minimum wage. Well, uh, about this, uh, the way forward, way ask me uh, for Nigeria now. Number one, to even to people where they work self, make them pay their salary. The class of paying a citizen salary. They never even pay people where they work salary, the class of that one. But inside there, my brother, I don't have anything to say much about Nigeria because I, complaining cannot solve the problem. Yeah. Every time we are, we are talking, we are talking, talking, but we, people we are complaining to, they are not listening yeah. to you. So don't need to complain, just that this Nigeria and this country you belong to God. But you are expressing your freedom as a citizen. Freedom of yeah, he can talk anything to you that one day, but don't they, talk. I don't try to talk because people, when they talk, you know, they listen to you. So, no need for you to waste your time. Tell us uh, the, the, the thing going on. And, you know, to keep ourselves together. And it's not working. The best thing is to let every component part to go its separate way at this time. Because we will not be uh, fighting to keep uh, ourselves united. Why our 
uh, uh, collective interest is being uh, uh, quashed. So I just think that uh, as a history, the government of the day should at least do the needful. Referendum. Yes, uh, you know, get people to you know vote uh, whether they want to be in Nigeria or not. At this time, they should just bring referendum. That's the only thing so that people will take their destiny into their very hand. So uh, even as 63, our electoral system, we are still having a tribal, a tribunal cases as 63. And uh, also uh, as 63, we are still having a um, judiciary that is not working. You understand? Judiciary that is the hope of common man judiciary that uh, every other developed country is the bedrock of every other developed country because without law there will be lawlessness but in case of nigeria we we'll have laws that are not working we we'll have laws that are not effective we we'll have laws for the rich and for the poor our laws are not the same so that is why you see people get away with criminality you see people get away with uh, fraud. You see people get away with embezzlement, public, embezzling public funds. You see our politicians embezzling our funds and nobody, no government uh, uh, parastata is going after them. So at this time, as 63, if you are a good Nigeria who have lived in Nigeria, who has uh, uh, worked in Nigeria, and you are still being hopeful that Nigeria will ever change, I think you are dreaming. What's the solution, sir? You the solution? Is to divide the country. Yes. Number one is to divide the country. Let everybody go their separate way. So every component will take their destiny into their hand. It's just like the case of Unam Dekanu. Yes, sir. He has always said it, that uh, they should give him a referendum or allow him to go with his people. At this time, it does on me that that very man is a prophet. All he has said about Nigeria has come to pass. Even before this very 2023 election, he told you beforehand that Tinubu is coming to take over. And as we are now, you can vividly you know, agree with me that, that his prophecy has come to pass. Tinubu has taken over Nigeria. But the in issue of us being together, let that man, let that man, let them allow him and his people to go so that at least as individual country will be able to enhance our potential. That's the reason for the unrest in the southeast. The unrest in the southeast, that's primarily because the southeast has been a very peaceful area. Yeah, we don't have all this terrorism in the southeast before now. But since the other man came, when he came, they were not armed. He wanted dialogue with the government that the government should, you know, allow the seed post to begin to work. Allow us to have our own international airport in the southeast here. I they should dredge the Niger so that uh, a goose will begin to come in. So we we'll have to decongest Port Harcourt, uh, Lagos uh, seaports. These were the things he brought as dialogue with the government, but they refused. And now they have to ponder. They have taken him into custody, and those who has keyed in into his very ideology are the ones fighting to make sure that that ideology, uh, ideology come to materialization. Don't you see somebody, some, some people are idling the girls of uh, now the Kalu causing a walking? No, that is it. That is it. When um, there is. Perpetrators it, also. It, it is, it is, it is. Normally, even when there is a working government, you will always see people who perpetrate crime. You understand? Crime is not peculiar to any tribe or any people. It's such a general issue. The idea of IPOB was for Nigeria to give them their own country to go and enhance their potential. But since Nigeria failed and we are firing at them, killing majority of them, most of those people who are skewed into that ideology has resulted to arms smuggle, armed fighting. So you can see it now in Imo State, a whole lot of community is being deserted. But that one, I know, is a state-sponsored terrorism against its own citizen. 
What is happening in Imo State is this. The very young man who by name, um, Gento Yahoo, has been the one on the neck of the government. But after coming to perpetrate his act, and he goes, the government, uh, government uh, security apparatus will come after the residents of the area, begin to burn down their houses, begin to kill some of them. But this is not how to go about this thing. If the government of the day wants peace in Imo State, the primary thing they have to do is to release that very young man. Of, uh, our president, Mr. President, Bola Tinubu, wasn't what I'm supposed to hear. He did not give Nigeria any hope. There is no mood, there is no vision, and the common man does not have hope of itself. So you said Tinubu is a leader without vision? I might say so because he was supposed to tell us all he had for us as a people living in this this side of the planet Earth. As an as a black, as an African, we are supposed to enjoy much. What do you expect from the president, sir? Um, what I am expecting from the president is just a simple thing is to take care of lives and property, yeah. to make sure that our security aspect is being beefed up, and to make to ensure that our health center is being modernized in this 21st century modern. Tinobu is 120 days in office now. If he say, ah, this man don't try, he don't try. For so far, he had not tried. He had not tried. Because what Nigeria are hopeful of, they are not seeing that. So it pains a lot. So what we are trying to say that, you know, the, it, it, it is, it is, I don't know if it is caused by religion. I don't know if we are in religion crisis. I don't know. But all I knew is that today for your reasons you know so i'm a nigeria i'm a good nigeria you can see i dressed why <laughs> yeah so you know. how is a uh, chinobu jagaba administration sir are you is he a good one are you enjoying the policies uh, you know people are danger a lot of nigeria are saying since chinobu came in nigeria has been moving from fry pan to fire will you say the same yeah that's true that's true because He made one mistake by not putting things on ground, and he just rushed and removed um, uh, the the oh, no 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 what is it called the well, for subsidy. Yeah. That was the mistake he made. But you supported him. Now. Yeah, I listen to me. Listen to me. I never said so. I said Nigeria has spoiled. The economy has been dropped so many years ago. The, the system has spoiled so many years ago. So he is, he is kind of a first president that came in with his own power, not submitting to anybody. He does not have a godfather. Not with his power does not mean he, he is effective. Listen, it the policy is put in place is li changing because listen, he does not have godfather. Listen to me. Listen to me. He is trying to walk. Yeah. You understand? Because a lot of damages, a lot of things has gone on so many years ago, during the days of those bad leaders but well, he's trying to you know fix things and in doing so it's not something of one month two months or three months he's doing well right now he's working trying to do to put things in order he's trying to make things right so to me as this i said it before and i'm saying it again they should give him time to put things Nobody, nobody is enjoying Nigeria now. Nigeria is kind of, you know, you know, bad now because this, this is cost every day. This is being cost. Something you buy one naira tomorrow, today, tomorrow it will increase to three naira. So nobody, this thing is really affecting us, yeah, affecting us, especially this uh, fuel subsidy remover that I removed that the price now went up. It's really affecting. Like me now, I'm not using my gen again the way I used to. You understand? Before, if I use 2,000, 1,500, I'll make use of my gym. But 1,500, 2,000 now is just something of a couple of hours, it will just stop. 
you know. So I don't it's like not it. The problem. It's not, it's not the fault. It's not the presidency. It's just the people who has uh, people. His predecessors. That people were command there. Now then spoil Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. No. The removal of points make adequate provisions before removal the points of city. Himself, no, they do well. Yeah, that's true. Like I said before, I said he did not make an arrangement before you now remove the subsidy. Had they been made an arrangement before removing the subsidy, it wouldn't have been affecting us the way it's affecting us now. It's because of the cost of the, uh, the, the petrol, petrol price. Now that is why this is being caused. This is going high every day because every, all the companies, all the factories, they make use of fuel. So that is that. Tell us now, we live in the uh, river state, close to the southeast. We've seen agitation for Biafra, IPUB. You think they not be this thing, the fuel uh, agitation to divide Nigeria? And if Nigeria divides, how would go? Man, I never really know, you understand? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But anything anybody they do, making no say you need to do things right. You understand? If you are doing something based on one or two, based on this social reason, you now begin to do this you now begin to do social things in order to bring the other person down. It's wrong. What we are praying now